Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this set. So this is a subset of C set of complex numbers and we are going to represent it in a complex plane. So here set E is a collection of all complex numbers which satisfy that condition mod Z minus 2 is equal to 2 mod Z minus 2i. So let us start with that condition. Okay. So let me write here. We have mod z minus 2 is equal to 2 mod z minus 2i. See, any complex number can be expressed in three different ways, Cartesian form, polar form and exponential form. So here I'm going to use Cartesian form. It means I'm going to replace z by x plus i y. So let us write z is equal to x plus i y here. So therefore, mod x plus i y minus 2 is equal to 2 mod x plus i y minus 2 i. So now let us collect real parts and imaginary parts. Here real part uh, x and minus 2 and imaginary part is i y right to real part x only imaginary part i y minus 2 i I am taking i common y minus 2. We are familiar with the definition of mod let us apply. So the definition says square root of square of real part plus square of imaginary part. Okay. On that side also, I will follow the same definition. Real part is x, it's square and imaginary part is y minus 2, it's square, right? So now we have got a square root on both sides. So I will take square of both sides to remove square root. So squaring on both sides. So we will have x minus 2 square plus y square. So when we take square, so we should take square of this 2 also. So it is 4. And if you take it square, square root will get cancelled, x square plus y minus 2 bracket square, right? So now we need to simplify it, right? So x minus 2 bracket square, a minus b bracket square formula I am using. So we'll have x square minus 4x plus 4 plus y square 4. Here also x square as it is I am writing and y minus 2 bracket square. So the bracket square formula I will use it will be y square minus 4y plus 4. We need to solve this bracket further. That means I will multiply each uh, element or each entry by this 4. Okay. So let me do that thing here. So therefore, x square minus 4x plus 4 plus y square is equal to Okay, I'm multiplying each uh, term by this 4. So we'll have 4x square plus 4y square minus 16y uh, plus 16. Okay, so now what will I do? I will keep constants on one side and all remaining terms I will shift on another side. So uh, 4 I'm keeping here, 4 and uh, 16 is also there, no? So let us shift 16 on this side. So it will be minus 16, right? And 4x square plus 4y square minus 16y. I'm shifting the all terms, okay, with x and y variables on that side. So minus x square minus 4x is here. So we'll have 4x. Uh, y square is here. So we'll have minus y square. So therefore, 4 is equal to, uh, sorry, 4 minus 16, that means we'll have minus 12 is equal to. 4x square minus x square, we will have 3x square, okay. 4y square minus y square, we will have 3y square, right. And uh, 4x is there. And 16y is there, minus 16y is there, right. Yes. See, uh, normally, we try to keep uh, or maintain coefficient of x square and y square 1. So here we have got multiple of x square is 3 and multiple of y square is also 3. So I will divide both sides by 3. So multiplying, multiplying both sides, both sides by 1 by 3 or you can say divide by 3. So if you multiply both sides by 1 by 3, so that means I'm dividing it by 3. So we'll have minus 4 x square y square I'm multiplying each entry by this 1 by 3 so plus 4 by 3 x minus 16 by 3 y right so actually this is equation of circle but that equation is not in its standard form so let me write the standard equation of circle 
so it will help us to uh, adjust that equation there right so the standard equation of circle let me write here okay here at the bottom i am writing so x minus a bracket square plus y minus b bracket square is equal to r square so this is standard equation of circle whose center is a comma b and the radius is r so let us try to adjust such bracket square there x square is there right plus 4 by 3x uh, 4 by 3x plus y square we have minus 16 by 3y and minus 4 on that side okay see we have to adjust bracket square so there is one technique to adjust a bracket square so that technique is x square plus 4 by 3x whatever the multiple of x we have to take its half and after that we have to take its square what did i say whatever the multiple of x take its half and take its square multiple of x is 4 by 3 right 4 by 3 its half that means multiplied by 1 by 2 so we'll have 2 by 3 okay so multiple of x is 4 by 3 its half is 2 by 3 we have to take its square it is 4 by 9 so it is 4 by 9 so we need to add 4 by 9 on all sides so minus 4 plus 4 by 9 so here for uh, terms of y so i will do the same y square minus 16 by 3 y so what we have here let me write just a minute here i will write so multiple of y is 16 by 3 irrespective of that sign huh? 16 by 3 its half will be 8 by 3 and its square will be 64 by 9 so plus 64 by 9 on this side and on that side also 64 by 9 right see there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then i will go further okay so uh, let us focus on first three terms so will you tell me and the next three terms okay so will you tell me this is uh, expansion bracket square of what so therefore x see plus sign is there no? so i should write plus 4 by 9 is a square of 2 by 3. So, x plus 2 by 3 bracket square, right? So, in this way, we got it. If you can expand and you can easily check, you will find same. Plus, here, the term is y we have. See, after that, we have a minus sign. So, here also, I should write a minus sign. And 64 by 9 is a square of 8 by 3. So, 8 by 3 square is equal to, see, we have got something here. So, let me simplify. Minus 4 plus 64 plus 4 68 by 9 both of them have the same denominator so we could easily add so let us cross multiply minus 36 by plus 68 sorry plus 68 by 9 so it is equal to uh, 32 by 9 right so 32 means basically uh, root 32 by 9 square simply i have adjusted with square getting since uh, in a standard form x minus a square same thing we have got plus y minus b square same term we have got plus r square here also we should express something square so that's why i adjusted square root and square so you can take separate separate square root uh, let me write here x plus 2 by 3 square plus y minus 8 by 3 square so root of 32 is 4 root 2 and root of 9 is 3 square so now you can easily compare so this is equation of circle so this is a circle with center with center so will you tell me what will be its center see x minus a is there getting but here we have got x plus 2 by 3 so it's our duty to adjust minus sign so x minus minus 2 by 3 so the a is minus 2 by 3 getting and y minus b here y minus 8 by 3 so here minus sign is expected and same thing we have so it's b is 8 by 3 so its center is minus 2 by 3 comma 8 by 3 it's my comma getting and radius is so its radius radius is r so this is our r so 4 root 2 by 3 getting so in this way we got a circle with center minus 2 by 3 comma 8 by 3 and radius is 4 root 2 by 3 so see one more uh, thing i need to write just make a screenshot of it then we will go further
So now let us draw the rough sketch of that circle. Get it? So here the center is minus 2 by 3, comma 8 by 3. 2 by 3 means uh, 0 0.6667, getting? And 8 by 3 means uh, 2.6667, getting? So uh, let us draw the rough sketch of it, minus 2 by 3, that means on negative uh, x axis. So it will be somewhere here, since it is 0 0.6667, and here 8 by 3, that means 2.6. 6, 7. So, it will be somewhere here. Getting? So, this is minus 2 by 3, comma 8 by 3. So, this is the center of that circle and radius is 4 root 2 by 3. Using calculator, you can easily find its exact value. But I think it will be 1 point something. It's, it will be definitely greater than 1, 1 1.5 around that. So, let me draw the rough sketch of it. So, the circle will be like this. Getting the point? So, set E is nothing but set of all points on this circle with center minus 2 by 3, comma 8 by 3 and radius is 4 root 2 by 3. See, example is over. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.